to Teachers Off Duty. My name is Rebecca Rogers. For those of you who are not super familiar with us, I'm our Rogers World on all my social media platforms. I am Lauren Woolley, Mrs. Woolley and Fifth on social media. I'm Bree Richardson, Honest Teacher Vibes on all social media platforms. I'm so sorry. My name is Tell Williams <laughs> or Mr. Williams Pre-K on all social media apps. We really wanted to talk about teacher fails today. Um, humble ourselves. What a fails? Bit. I'm a perfect teacher. One hundred percent. When it comes to decorating, I am on point, but I have had some mishaps. One hundred percent. So I'll I'll go first and talk about one example. For those of you who know me, I do social studies. I'm not a math person. I don't know Girl, it. I don't understand either. it. Like I. Mm -mm. So I. I remember you know my my kids the first thing that we do is we look at current events every day of what's going around the world around us mm -hmm. and um one of the current events is about it was flooding somewhere and they were talking about what like 52 inches of rain and i just oh, remember child. being oh, at the gosh. front of the class going whoa that's so much rain i don't really know how much rain it is but i bet that's like taller than our trailer and the kids just look at me and they're like no, Miss Rogers, that's not right. I said, no, that's not that's not Wait, the thing. The fact that they knew. two inches. The trailer. I was in a I was on a trailer. <laughs> I was in a trailer. trailer. You taught in a trailer? Yes. <laughs> well, like I taught in like a pod. Have you never heard of like a a pod? Is it, All my never life, I've never heard of this. So like, okay, so so for some reason, my first school thought it would be a really good idea to put all of the new teachers, like all of the BTS, in a pod, which is a small mini building that has like eight classrooms. What's a BT? Beginning teacher. You stop using all the acronyms. I don't know what that stuff means. A beginning teacher, a board teacher. I know. BT, board teacher. <laughs> oh, Sorry, shameless plug. Listen, but at their Twitter name. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to isolate all the new teachers that like needed help. Right, you right. You know, but that's what they did. Right. So and wait, I was like, so your district literally had a separate building for just the new oh, separate trailers. This is trailers. a fail. No, no, this was <laughs> like, they, the, so, you know, this, we live in a very populated area. We were the largest county in the state, like 19 high schools. Dang. Yeah, it's Could really big. I'm um, like disgusting. all the high schools have like over 2,000 kids. So, you know, they had to have pods, you know, instead of getting individual Ohio trailers. could never. I know. Baby, <laughs> Mississippi <laughs> could never. It's rough. And so instead of getting individual trailers, they got a pod, which was a mini building that literally just was eight classrooms four on each side and then two bathrooms and like that was their thing and so they did they like you know bring this thing on like a semi truck and just plop it yeah, on the I land have it's like, it's like a modular here. home it, yes it's like a little mini modular home and it just has classrooms this is in not it. this was not their pedagogy this was saving <laughs> money like, we're not building another yeah. brick building just bring in a, no. a double wide trailer and yes, we can teach in that I don't, I'm telling you, they literally only put, first of all, they put all the freshmen in the pods and they put all the beginning teachers Total anarchy. teaching the freshmen <laughs> Total anarchy. in the pods. I don't know. I oh, guess that's that a totem itself. pole. You guys got the short end of the yes. stick. Is, why do I, in my head, is it warm? It, it seems like it'd be very hot. Like it does not get good AC. You guys keep giving me more fails to talk about. It started out with my math fails and now it's like, oh, they put all the people who needed help in isolation. And now I get to talk about how um, my, so each classroom had its own thermostat right oh, gosh. and mine of course broke um so this is a like metal roof building oh, no. so let me tell you this is oh, the south no. and oh, no, in the spring the thermostat literally read 85 degrees in the classroom in my oh. classroom and i i complained to admin i tweeted at and like the kids were tweeting at the district we were sending emails and literally like no one changed it the entire semester that's terrible so that's 85. a huge wow. fail and i'm sure that they like regulated like you know like police what people could and couldn't wear and like no like, oh that was the that was a semester that i did not care i wore like oh jeans God. and a t-shirt every day because I, mean, like, I was like even, i'm drenched students, in sweat I'm saying, like, that's I, like, like my okay my old high school literally was built in 1965 i want to say it's so old and like all the other buildings around it like the elementary building the intermediate building the middle school they're all brand new uh -huh. and then you go from these brand new buildings with beautiful technology to this ancient high school <gasps> and like not it's not even like the high school's nice it's just old right it's like decrepit falling apart like ceiling tiles missing Dang. raining from the ceiling like it's just bad and the worst part about it is that during the winter time the heating is so different in every single room but none of them are warm like they're all like <laughs> you go to school and you will freeze and the dress code like they're not allowed to wear hoodies obviously 
Wait, what do you mean, obviously? They weren't allowed to wear hoodies. Why? Like, they can't wear their hood Why? or they can't that wear a hoodie. Hoodie. Like, a long time ago, the dress code was really strict. Like, my sophomore year of high school, they tried to get as close to uniforms as they could without saying uniforms because then they'd have to provide the uniforms. Yeah. So, like, we, I'm not kidding you, you were not allowed to wear anything that did not have a crew neck. You were not allowed to wear um, anything other than jeans. Uh, like you could wear khakis, but like oh, but jean like, material, like that kind of material. You couldn't wear sweatpants, no yoga pants. Hold nothing. on, hold on. Did you ever wear like a long jean skirt? No. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> no. We'll come back to that. Why? <laughs> did Why? you? I, did I? I don't think it would look good on me. I you to, look good in anything. We have to show these lugs off, you oh, know. And you can't do that in a long jean skirt. Anyway, no, I did not wear a long jean skirt to school, <laughs> but it was just like ridiculous. So. People complained, they scaled it back, but you still couldn't wear hoodies to school. Well, last year, parents complained so much that, you know, because their kids were going to school and freezing their butts off right. because they couldn't wear hoodies in to Ohio. Keep warm. Yeah, you, in Ohio. Again, the polar vortex. I'm from Indiana, so right. it's like, it gets like negative 20 degrees. Oh, right. No. So oh, no. they won the battle. The kids can wear the hoodies now, but like they. They literally got like an evaluation done on the roof to see if they could just replace the roof of the school. It was like twelve million dollars <gasps> to fix the roof. A roof? That's a whole new school. Well, that's what they were. They're like, well, we could just, you know, put a levy out to build a new school. And of course, the entire town voted it down because no one wants to pay more taxes. But and, but then you know we keep complaining that we have a terrible high school. But you know it's it's those kind of things where it's like that's a fail. That's a huge fail. <laughs> that's a fail. Like, that's a fail. So I, I like to teach through simulations when I can. I think it's really mm -hmm. cool. It keeps the kids interactive. It promotes a lot of really good discussions. And when I was teaching American history, I did a simulation on the Alien and Sedition Acts. Um, for those of you that like don't know what I was that gonna is. say, you gonna tell what that is? Yeah. Yeah. Just talking about a UFO. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was about that was passed during like John Adams administration. It basically Area raised 51. residency mm, requirements to become a citizen. Oh. It also was a censorship law. Like you can't criticize the like some Americans wanted war, some didn't with like foreign mm. countries. So like you couldn't criticize the Adams administration. They were worried about French spies, things like that. Um, but so you know what I did, I came up with this simulation as best as I could. Every year I did this multiple different years mm -hmm. i would find something like very minor like something very dumb to be mad about whether mm -hmm. the kids left a mess in yeah. the classroom or a very low percentage of kids like turned in their assignments from the day before something very minor to be mad about and i basically told the kids like i'm fed up i've had enough blah blah, blah. we're gonna have these new rules like i did you I'm throw done. anything? Did you flip a table? I did not flip a table, though I've known. <laughs> I would have wrapped the whole trailer. You could have been flipped. You could have been flipped down low enough. You just you lift with your legs, babe, the whole thing. Boom. <laughs> this was Eight actually pods. at my next yeah, school, so I wasn't party. in the pod anymore. At oh. my at my next school, mm, I was bummer. in a moving on She said, I'm not a first bummer. year. I moved yeah, right like, on up. I'm ready now. But so, you know, I basically said that I had like a set of rules, and I tried to make them like, at, at the end, they would be like, oh, like that's kind of like whatever. And I said, you have one shot to change my mind. You have to like write me a speech, like tell me why these aren't fair, tell me what is wrong. And so, you know, I put them in groups and they would write their little speech. And then censorship law, I would take a big Sharpie. I told them that before they presented to the class, I would have to like check them. Um, and so anything that was about like, this is unfair, scratch out. Anything like that I didn't want them to say that was unfair of me right. or that it was stupid or I was just being mean, scratch, scratch, scratch. And they got pissed. Yeah. Like they were mad. I'm like, this is my classroom. I can say, like, if I don't want you to say that, you're not going to say that. Right. And it was so hard to keep a straight face. One kid <laughs> genuinely thought like, he was so angry because like they thought it was real. And this kid literally just like walked out of the room. He just stormed out of the classroom one time. One out day. of the trailer. Out of, this was in the real classroom. Just we just wanted to be in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Let it be in the trailer. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't mad he left. I was more mad. I was scared that if he like went to go like, find out that it wasn't real like I didn't want him to talk to another teacher and find out that I was just kidding and so I like zoom out of the room after him and I see him go into who became the teacher that became my best friend mm -hmm. talking about Miss Rogers is so mean and blah 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 and these new rules and y'all kids can just walk out in high school I wish no, one of them middle can't. schoolers would they where are you can't. going they're don't supposed come back. to they're <laughs> supposed to take passes but he just walked out mm. so I'm running 
also like should have been more concerned that he just walked out but i was more like no he's gonna find out it's fake oh my he's god gonna ruin my simulation. i left all my other kids unattended because they wanted to walk it was right yes it was right next door and so yeah. i go and i go what are you doing get back to the classroom and he's like so mad going off on me and i was like i can't do this gosh becca you should have just told him ahead of time i try I, who, the teacher or the kid you to the kid let that boy blood pressure uh, what, get high what, what, like that. I was going to say, what my favorite thing about this is, is it's like, was it a good lesson? Yeah. 100%. Was it traumatic? <laughs> <laughs> Let me remember it forever. We had to have, <laughs> say, will they ever forget it, though? <laughs> we had to have a whole parent-teacher conference He got about trust it issues now. Because, like, <laughs> he got trust issues now. He literally now. was like, you only picked on me because you don't like me. I'm like, no, bro, I literally just wanted my simulation to Wait, you out. had to do a parent-teacher conference because yeah, of that? Yeah, like, it was a huge... I was like, I cannot do the simulation anymore. Yeah, don't do that. Bro. got don't mad. Do that. He was so upset and thought I was just picking on them. And I was like... No, did the other kids get mad or you. was he the first one that I mean they were like mad and then after I told them they're like oh that's so smart and I was like I know cause I'm a good teacher but see I would've been <laughs> old boy storming out the classroom cause who's she talking to marking well, out all like, my stuff I just got done working on he was like <laughs> I'm well, gonna go the whole issue was I was like you didn't even ask if you could go to the he's like I should be able to go to use the bathroom and cool off and I was like yes but you didn't ask like well, why do i need to tell you because i am legally responsible for you and right. you can't just leave without right. me knowing where you're going and somebody like, somebody finna be in the comments right now because you know y'all begin y'all feelings I hurt know. somebody in the comments right now as we speak typing out i can't believe y'all don't let kids go to no, the bathroom you can go Shut i just up. need to know what, where what you should, are what should, they, legally what should they wear what should they put on a, ca- a, a cape. cape if you mad put on a cape so you can be super mad <laughs> I know, that was like listen jordan watches so and extra. listens to our podcast yeah. when the episodes come out and when he heard you say that the first time i i kid you not he cackled he was <laughs> howling he, laughing at that line people don't know about the teacher's off-duty table book we're gonna have or coffee, oh my coffee book we're gonna have of things that brie says because i it's the gonna last be an art time piece. we were we were tr- we were at like 2 a.m we were coming Last time we were here, it was like 2 a.m. And me, Lauren, and, and Brie were uh, driving back with uh, James. And, and she had said, I don't even remember what it was. It's in my phone. And I laughed for like 20 it's minutes. It's on my phone. <laughs> it's on I, my phone. I, I was like, I, that was I've, the time I left early. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I have not known laughter. I don't even really like toilet paper one. Oh, my God. It's it's because, like, I never real like, I just say stuff, but I never realized the type of sayings that they are until y'all started writing them down. And I'm like, are I, y'all seriously writing this stuff down? Yes. I've not so I said, then. this is the one I said. So... The kids, like, the kids sometimes will be like, ooh, Miss Richardson, such, 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 they don't like you. And I'm like, I literally do not care. Like, <laughs> why would I Why would I care about the opinion of somebody who can't wipe their butt if they mama them by the toilet paper? Like, I'm just saying, like, you would be walking around doing on your booty if you if your mama them by the toilet paper. Could not. I, I <laughs> laughed. People are probably listening to this and being like, tell, calm down. But I thought it was <laughs> by far the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Maybe it's because in black house I told a very it, funny it, joke it, today it's I read it in my diary later that night <laughs> <laughs> it's because in black households your parents like when you try to do something crazy or you try to talk back or whatever your parents I always be like so you pay bills do you pay bills well I asked one of my students that when they were talking crazy and he was like no and he was like why are you even asking me that why she keep asking me do I pay bills I don't understand <laughs> my mama used to ask me that like people would be like did you get an allowance when you were a kid? I was like, what you mean an allowance? I was allowed to live here. I didn't get an allowance. <laughs> yeah, I, I was also allowed did not to get live an here. allowance. Right. No, nope. wasn't, it wasn't uh, privilege uh, Yeah, that. it's like, I got my, I got clothes every year. <laughs> yeah, that's my, I didn't okay. have an, um, I, had an a, I had a I had a bedroom. That I also had a job at 13. Like, I worked at 13. 13. Yeah, they hired me thinking I was 14, because I think you, I think 14 I is you can work till you're like 16. 15, I thought. 15 or 16. Um, and I so thought it was they child labor. Yes, it was. And so I was like, it's my birthday. And they're like, oh, Oh, did you turn six, 15 and i was like i'm i'm 14 they're like what and I was like, oh no Come like i was in. i was a, a baby like Come working. On in. i was like yeah i was like i was working at an ice cream shop and i was like shoveling it. okay well, that needs to be a whole episode That's of our first fail. jobs our first before teaching i just want to know did you lift your leg like that when you were shoveling uh, did i you was really bad my first leg? year they, i i'm pretty sure they were gonna fire me and they came back the next <laughs> year and i was i was great and they're like yes work 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 queen that first year <laughs> you was scruggly I was 110 sure. pounds and just like, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, they would have fired me because I would have been in the back eating the ice cream. 
uh, Ray, I, what are you not? Are you I was me? hungry. I was like, oh no, I made another mistake. Mm. Oh, like, <laughs> just like gorging. To be walking out at the end of the night with big tubs, ice I, cream. Yeah, uh, you can't I, take I that kept with making you. mistakes. Speaking like, of mistakes, um, <laughs> do you want to hear my me. teacher fail? I please do. Yes, please. Because here's the thing. Here's She's the thing. Like the perfect Did she? Teacher. That's what I was about to say. Does she even look like she would have a teacher fail? She's like, I really had to dig deeper in this one. Super organized. All like everything together. What that's called is being good at acting. I don't. I mean, you are, but I honestly think that I'm good at. I'm good at fail. putting on give a show. Fail. Just give it to us. <laughs> I need to know it's real. Know. Um, I'm so, excited. Okay. Well, a lot of my teacher fails, my good ones, are from my student teaching experience because you fail at everything yeah. with yes. that. Um, so for student teaching at my college, we had to do a unit plan. So at the last couple of weeks of your student teaching experience, you would teach every subject all day, every day for that entire week. Um, and be in charge of all the lesson plans and materials and such and such. But we also had like specific requirements that you had to meet. So like you had to have parent involvement, you had to have community involvement, you had to have like technology resources, whatever. So uh, for my unit plan, I was teaching first grade and I was incorporating um, like community members and their their standard I was working on was like past and present or something like that. For my unit plan, I was like, you know, it'd be great. I will have centers for every subject all day and I'll have the parents come and I'll have them do the centers with their children and I'll just, you know, make a big ice cream sundae out of everything. I'll just bring in the community member with the parents and the children. It's ambitious. <laughs> that is ambitious. That's, that's a, a nice that's a word. Whole, like, that's a whole, like, fair. Yeah, like, I, I, yeah, I pretty much put on a fair for everybody. In the so. class, everyone fit in the classroom? Yeah, in the classroom. You must have had a big classroom that with all them people up in there. Well, I was very fortunate. <laughs> my student teaching, I did, um, I had a class of literally 15 kids. Oh, that's oh nice. Oh, my God. Yeah, and it was at, I like, a, never the school I was thing. at was not really, like, modern in terms of, like, like special education services. Yeah. So, like, three of the kids left all day. Oh, okay. So, mm. it was 12 kids all day. And, yeah, it was glorious dang oh but anyway so we are having these centers i'm setting up i'm setting up all my materials and everything i i'm like i'm gonna rock this like i'm gonna get she will not even take a single point off of this entire assignment confident <laughs> so I, I was i was very confident well the community member I, like all the parents had arrived they're all sitting at their kids seats with them and stuff and the community member I was able to get because the district that I taught in was very small and it was um, like kind of in an urban setting. Just kind of like, it was like a strange mix. Yeah. But um, I got a, a city council person to come and she came and I'm thinking, oh, she's gonna talk about maybe like government and yeah. like being oh, a member no. of the community oh, no. and things like that. No, ma'am. So she's talking about, uh, she, she gets up and she starts talking about like a sewer line they were putting in. To first graders? And, to first graders and their parents. The Ninja Totos? Yeah. <laughs> I live in the sewer. I am, because so, I had a kid who loved Ninja Turtles in that year. So I'm surprised that did not come up. <laughs> what? But yeah, she's talking Gosh, about, oh, we just put in a brand new sewer line and this street and. Oh, we're this bridge to is gonna filter? be closed. Was she like catering to the parents or something? Because I can't imagine a first grader gives. They poop did in the not world. give a crap what was happening. It was well, no she, pun she intended. Went on. She was meant to. <laughs> <laughs> There's boo boo in the sewer. <laughs> It took I was a second for that to click what you just said. <laughs> I was channeling my inner Mr. Williams. <laughs> Ooh, in the anyway. Oh my so God. she gets up and I I literally had prefaced with her and said, like, you don't have to talk for long. Just like introduce yourself and like who you are and what you do for your job. She spoke for 35 minutes. No, she did okay. not talk about, about, sewers, about sewers. About sewers and bridges. Hey, you should have went man. up there like the man from Showtime at the Apollo with that cane and yanked her off stage. I would have been like, stage. Yeah, like, not only were the kids like just glazed over, glazed over but the parents were like drooling out of their mouths. They're like, <laughs> is this over yeah, yet? Like, I didn't come she could here not to read go the to a room. city council meeting. She like, could not read the room. She could not. Ma'am. So, you know. How we, do you win that kind of an election without reading the room? I don't know, I don't know, 
Right. Right. She I'm, thought she I'm was kind of for that re election. I'm guessing she ran unopposed because it was like, it was, there was. Oh my Good god. Lord. She really said build back better and talked about sewers and bridges the end. Sewers and bridges. Time. Sewers and bridges, kids. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> but that yeah, that was like the oh my biggest gosh. and then I had to have them get up and do centers for the whole rest of the day. Oh no, that was dead. They at the day they was like, Well, Is because it, Mama, they sat for thirty five minutes, they were bored out of their freaking minds. Oh, so yeah. they got and up you and were running her around she like wild to... people. Right, of course. Doing flips and stuff in the class. I'm cats. like, oh, I just failed this assignment. Oh. No. Thank you, counsel. Did you pass it? whoever did you, you are. did you do fine? Like did you pass it? Oh yeah, I passed, but I was like, well, this just ruined but that's the not day. Really your fail. <laughs> like, that's her. Right. For, she needs to for, shut up. Did Sit she down get somewhere. reelected? Girl, you're supposed to talk for five minutes. minutes. I don't know. I have to. <laughs> she's listening to this podcast and she's shaking right now. <laughs> she's oh my gosh. She's like, I put in a good sewer system. <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is, I have saved not the best for laughs, last because. Ooh, best I'm, for laughs. The best for laughs. Give you know what, like, guys? The best for um, laughs or the best for laughs? You know what? <laughs> y'all, I don't like how y'all harass me. I'm still, I'm still mad about the Polar Express. No. <laughs> Oh I, I, Christmas is long past I'm and I don't care. I'm going to start a Polar Express hate page. Nuh -uh. If you would like to join, These just amateurs drop don't the like the Polar Express. <laughs> if your childhood was unhappy, just let it What is it, Uncanny Valley? I mean, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Girl, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, Mom. I'm kidding. As soon as that came out, I was like, I'm Girl, kidding. Listen, my mom knows I ain't note, kidding. I'm for real. <laughs> no, my mom, so she listened to the podcast and she was, <laughs> she's oh, going to no. kill me. Oh, no. She Right before I left for this weekend, she was like, don't you be telling about what's going on in my house. And I was like, mom, I'm just speaking from my personal experiences. And she was like, no, well, people are going to think that things are going on that weren't. I was like, mom, you guys fought. Like, it's just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mom, you guys like push like, each other. Mom, mom, I had a good childhood. Thank you. I love you. Uh, did, 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 did you play The Sims to escape your childhood? I did. Yes. I like, my, Wait, what did you say? I said, did you play The Sims play the to Sims. escape? Oh, I, I, I played the, I play the I Sims on the computer. I'm like, the family can be happy if I make that. You never played The Sims? I'll have a better life in this story. <laughs> I'll make this giant mansion. This no. is season chicken energy for real. So I ain't sorry. playing okay, this. Take, it, take, <laughs> us, okay, take, take us, us to the, the end, babes. <sighs> my teacher fell. Okay, so somebody gonna get mad, but whatever. Put on a cape so you can be super mad. But my teacher fail is I used to throw expo markers at my kids if they were asleep. Now before you get mad, I didn't like throw it like a dodgeball. I just lobbed it, you know, so it would land softly okay and i got pretty good aim because i grew up playing basketball so i just lobbed it like i was shooting a three-pointer so and an this one kid what, like and three not ounces? even hard yeah if like it's that, not really yeah. it's not really hard and i had like precise aim like i was i surprised myself i'm like dang i can't believe we haven't hit a kid in the face with one of these yet <laughs> You just the wrong wait. time to think that. So a kid was asleep, and I told him, like the other it. kids would snitch on kids and they were asleep because they wanted me to throw something. Miss Rich, he sleep, he sleep. Go to Expo Market, get the purple one. I'm like, shut <laughs> the up. So this kid was asleep one day, and I had told him multiple times to wake up, and so he went back to sleep, and I was like, I bet. So I just lobbed it over there. And it missed him, and it hit the table and popped up and slapped the little boy next to him in the middle of his <laughs> oh, glasses. No. And I was like, dang, I better quit throwing them X1 markers. I'm finna get fired. Oh, my God. So I went over there. I was like, hey, bud, you okay? Don't tell your mom, please. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared right now. Also, I, ain't, I, I don't got no shame about saying this. It's some of y'all crunchy people out here that feel like teachers should let kids sleep in class because I seen somebody say this on TikTok, and it really pissed me off. But I got time today. I'm not finna let no kids sleep in my class. Like, I I literally don't care. Like, don't be, everybody makes excuses for these kids. I can't go to sleep during class, so neither can you. Well, I just feel like they have bigger issues going on if they go to sleep. Baby, I grew up crazy. My parents got the fist fighting before I went to school some days. I wasn't going to sleep in class. Stop making excuses for these kids. These people on TikTok talking about, well, if they go to sleep, I just let them sleep. Well, I'm not going to say what I think about you because it's not nice, but... I would turn off every single light except for my desk lamp, and so oh, it's I'd very dark too. in there. And so I'm doing, I'm doing some really rough out. day. It was snowing outside. Oh no, I I'm it. gone. I'm doing this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And then all of a sudden, I just, I feel myself going. And then my co-teacher was like, and I shot up because they were looking. She's like, <laughs> something's not right said, about this. I said, oh my god. I stood up. I said, I fell asleep. She goes, you fell asleep. I said, yeah. She goes, you never stop patting the child. I guess I trained myself just to keep. Oh going. my gosh. So oh I'm my gosh. Do one of these. I fell asleep oh hard. Gosh. That's a huge fail. I guess if I had the ability to have nap time, right. I would probably for two fall asleep hours. Too. But like I always two think hours like, in the dark with calm music. Man, come on. Right. So the thing, your ratio changes. If all the kids are asleep, 
then your ratio moves from two to two or one to 10. So if we had 20 kids, you have two teachers um, to, to one to 20. If other kids asleep, you can. And sometimes that would happen. And so the co-teacher would go on lunch or go to the bathroom or whatever. All I could think of is what happened if she had left <laughs> and I was just napping. Just like, oh my. I don't trust my kids enough to fall asleep. I ain't no telling no. I don't know that I did. Be. I think I was just that was tired. tired. Yeah. Nah, know. be toe up. These are some crazy don't... fails. This is why. This is why I go to work late because of coffee. All the people that's about to judge us. Okay, you can judge me. That's okay. I, I don't claim to be a good teacher. I'm just a funny one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if you if you if you DM me mad about me saying my kids can't sleep, I'm a post show. Uh, message on my Instagram stories. Make it look bad. Because <laughs> these people, I'm just saying, these people be coming incorrect in these inboxes sometimes. Get called out. So if you bad, you better be bad. You better put, you better be able to back it up because I'm posting uh, with your name they, and all. Should put a cape on so they can be yeah, super bad? Yeah, put a See, cape on. I have, I actually, I have ha- let kids Becca's like before. the nicest person on this podcast. But like, I also, so, so. you know, I was really fortunate with my childhood and I like I don't feel like I'm able to be like oh well my Wait, you said you let great. kids sleep in your class? I have. But like I I feel like there's things that might go on at home that I don't understand and like I just you're you know gonna get, you're they're going to get sponsored by Expo markers or people are going to start sending <laughs> to them in droves like like, <laughs> like I don't know it's just like I know it's a touchy subject but I'm just saying like I as somebody who grew up in daily trauma, some of the excuses that are made for kids during today's day and time. I do if agree a kid, with that. If, if it's a one-time thing or whatever, but if you sleep every day, most of my kids, like if if it's somebody that sleep every day, I'm communicating with the parent, like, hey, are they? And I'm not, I'm not like an evil teacher, like, bro. If it's a kid that's falling asleep every day, then that's a reason to reach out to the parent and say, hey, is something going on? You know what I'm saying? I Why is he falling asleep? Yeah. But people fail to realize, teachers, we have discernment. I know if a kid is sleep. Cause he's lazy Listen, and he need to stand up yeah. or if he got something going on and he's sleeping. And we know these kids, right? So like, right. I think yeah. most but you know, people, everybody people got an opinion like about make, what right, teachers, because, everybody listen, got an opinion. If I had opinion. a child come in who was just tired, I'd be mm-hmm. like, honey, and I like it. And parents will communicate if they didn't communicate with something. Right, right. Stay, but like, I know the kids who are yeah. living with, with their nuclear families or right, whatever. Right, right, right. And that's the time to be like, you know what? Like, do not sleep in class, but let me write you know, you can go sleep. In right, the right, 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 right. Listen, 25 minutes in the nurse's office and then you're awake all day. is right, better right. than you sleeping for five minutes right. in each class. And most yeah. of my kids that be sleep, it's not a one time. Like if it's a kid, he'll never fall asleep and he sleep. I'm like, hey, I wake him up like, hey, you are, you okay today? Like, you sleepy? Today? Like, I had a kid the other day fall asleep, and he don't never go to sleep. I was like, hey, but you good? Like, what, what's going on? He was like, I ain't get no sleep last night. I was like, do you need to go to the bathroom? I was like, you can go to the bathroom, get some water, put some water you in your face. You talk such a game, and every time I talk to you, you are a, such a softy teacher, you though. You really are. No, like, I, okay, no, but, I, okay. I support that. Yeah. No, it really listen, is. it's <laughs> because I, I can't, I... I love my kids and I know them. Like, that's why yeah. people are always like, why'd you go back to teaching? And I'm like, because I genuinely love it. Like, I love my kids, but I have like a no nonsense policy for people making excuses. It's a teacher that used to teach next door to me and he would tell kids that excuses are tools of incompetence and the people who use them rarely amount to anything. These oh. kids, I'm gonna say it again. Excuses are tools of incompetence and people who use them rarely amount to anything because you got kids that people make excuses for them. Then these people turn into adults who make excuses about everything and nothing is ever their fault. But I think kindly holding children and students and parents and mm. accountable and doing right. it in a kind way like you do. Right. I don't think that. <laughs> yes. I don't, but I don't think that's you being like no nonsense. I try not to be but, mean, but I'm like, bro, please don't, don't be sleep in my class every right. day. Come on, fam. And I'm, a, I'm like, care. I'll let you go to the bathroom. You need to put some water on your face. But you sleep and then when you awake, you ain't paying attention at all. Come mm. on. Bro. This is why you just keep Red Bull in the classroom. No. <laughs> my kids would be swinging from the rafters if they drink Red Bull. I, one semester, I literally had like 42, 43 freshman teenagers in my world history class. I cannot in the keep class. that kind of snacks in my room. How do you have 40? How big is your classroom for 43 kids? Kids. It's not big enough. Like I have it, there's no room to walk. Like my kids, they used to joke because you know we don't. I don't know about how it is in other places. But, like we don't use lockers. They all have their backpacks. Yeah, they don't. We don't got lockers. And I used to be like, y'all, like y'all are gonna kill me with your backpacks because I slip Man, on them trying to get all back, anywhere. backpacks all the time. <laughs> and like I, you know, shocker, I have little legs because I'm only five feet tall. Like there's only so the much I can like <laughs> eat over all the backpacks. Yeah. So like we don't have there. 
there were a few times I didn't have enough desks for kids for a couple of days. Like I had to have a the couple kids. of days. I had to have them sit at my desk. This is some Michelle Pfeiffer stuff. These sure. are more teacher <laughs> fails, but like not my fail. If they didn't get that joke here way too. Oh young. my god! <laughs> all right, well, thank y'all so much for hanging out with us today for the Teachers Off Duty podcast. Man, we love y'all. Please uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Make sure you sign up for our Patreon so that you can get a lot of awesome bonus content and then merch we Woo-hoo. have merch coming so Woo. make sure that you keep an eye out for that and grab some while you can we love you guys so Bye much i friends. hope you couldn't hear my stomach growing the last <laughs> oh, <laughs> i love you guys and cut. I'm gonna go <laughs> <laughs> bye <laughs>